Hello and welcome to a new adventure in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, we're at the Bonaventure Cemetery. We're gonna do a walking tour. There's two different types of tours you can do. There's a walking, like self-guided tour. There's a, what, paid, what? An app that you can pay for. It's $5.99. It's a self-guided tour when you download it. It has like GPS notification or it knows where you're at. Every time you pass a certain spot, it starts playing information about the area of the cemetery you're at. Cool. Um, it kind of has a map on there to show where you're going. There's a lot of stops on it, so we're going to try to get to as many stops as possible. The rain might prevent us from getting to every stop. It is a pretty big cemetery. Over a hundred acres. That's a lot of walking and it's yeah. raining and we're sharing this umbrella. So I can tell, I just didn't realize that my face is covered. There's two different types of tours you can do. There's the self-guided one with the app that she was talking about. There's also one where you actually take a tour guide with you and they take you along to these different areas. And you can do walking or driving. We did walking today because we figured we'd see more. But anyways, the rain has put a stop to that. But uh, in any case, let's get moving. All right, so on the first stop of the tour, this part of the app, it doesn't have any audio on this stop, but it does talk about the Gaston tomb or Gaston tomb. And it, this person named William Gaston was from New Jersey. And then he came to settle in Savannah. When he came to Savannah, he became known for his hospitality. He was also recognized as a man of integrity who was a benefactor to the needy and abandoned. He died in 1837 and a local group of merchants and citizens funded and erected this vault for the interment of strangers to perpetuate Gaston reputation for kindness. The tome was first erected in Colonial Cemetery in downtown Savannah and then relocated to this cemetery in 1873. The scenery and stuff around here is classic like Savannah type. You got these old like live oak trees and stuff and then you have all this moss hanging from it. So it's a really a really beautiful place. It's almost like a park. I know it's a cemetery, but I think it was designed to actually be a nice place to take your family, walk around in the, in the trails and whatnot, and just have a, a nice place to reflect, um, you know, for either the living or the not so living as we have here and this this is always kind of scary right so you have this place where these uh, these plots where these graves are and then you have like a tiny one that's always super sad and really scary I mean I say scary but not like spooky scary but like golly that's a scary thing to think about to have to go through is burying a child This is, this is pretty interesting. This uh, particular like plot or whatever has palm trees in it. And they decorate the plum, palm trees, plum, palm trees with flowers and stuff. It's for the Dodson family, it looks like. It's a pretty beautiful place. And actually, this is a very large uh, cemetery. This thing is over, what, 100 acres? Yeah. Wow, it's pretty big. We probably won't see it all. We're doing the walking tour. There is also a driving tour you can you can take. Probably see a little bit more, but we figured it might be a little neater just to, to walk it. Really take it nice and slow. Got the right shoes on. Yep. Definitely got the right shoes on. Got our waterproof shoes on. Ooh, but still, ooh, be careful. And it looks like it goes on and on. Places pretty massive and also like just because this place is massive and it's been here like quite a while doesn't mean it's full up yet you got you got a, a good bit of space here still open to lay some families at rest in a nice place this definitely does seem like a nice place seems like it's well kept up the grounds are very nice the trees are beautiful hmm very peaceful. All right, we're, we're coming up to some more crossroads and I think some of these, ooh, some of these have the road names on it. So, let's see. Oh, that's just a, that's just a section right there, section name. But over this way, this one says Nunez Way. See what I did there? It's unintentional. But some of these are going to have the name on it. That way you can tell where you're at, where you're supposed to go. 
Let's see what does it say on this size? Okay, or this way, this side. All right, section Q, Nunez Way. So the next question is, which one is Nunez Way? Because you got a road that goes that way, kind of, sort of that way, that way, that way, and that way. So which one is Nunez Way? We may have gone the wrong way. It happens. You know what? It's not the wrong way. It's just the long way. That's what. That's what I always say. Man, that is pretty looking though. So inside Bonaventure, it also has four different cemeteries within it. And this one right here is the American Legion All Wars Cemetery. And it's maintained by different Savannah American Legion posts and has veterans from World War I, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Memorial services are observed here on Memorial Day, hosted by the local American Legion posts. And then also the headstones that you see, they've been provided by the Bureau of Veterans Affairs at no cost. Just beyond this open gate here is the Noble Jones. This is pretty interesting. So he died in 1775, so it's got some age on it. But this, this gentleman here didn't originate here. He was actually at some other cemetery, then he got moved to another cemetery, and then he later got moved to this cemetery, the Bonaventure. And after him, so the Noble Jones family and another family moved into, or was relocated uh, at the Bonaventure uh, Cemetery. This became like a fashionable place to, to be you know, laid to rest. So after these, um, you know, kind of famous hoity-toity people came in, this became a place to be. I mean, honestly, like, I mean, you, you don't need the noble Jones people to, to tell you that this place is pretty neat and you might want to stay here for a while because it is very peaceful, especially today. It's kind of gloomy out, you know, not in a bad way, but in a relaxing way. It just gives everything a little bit of a softer look, pleasing. You got gentle raindrops falling off the trees. And as you go like walking through here, like some of these things look really interesting, like some of the, you know, design and, and whatnot uh, of some of these uh, markers. Um, but check this one out. This one kind of stands out to me. It looks like the top of a house or something. Like a roof. Dr. P.M. Kolak. Hmm. That is pretty neat. I don't have any, any more information on it. But, uh... Might be something to look at. Because that, that seems like there's got to be a story behind that one. Okay, so technically this is where the walking tour is supposed to start. We did not do it correctly. If you're doing this in the future, it starts at this colonial garden walkway and we're supposed to go down through this little green area. I, th I guess it's just like a garden area and look for a large rock, but here's a rock. So this tells you a few key areas. Noble Jones, we learned about him already. Noble Wimberly Jones, related, don't know. Houston family, more Houston family. The Duber, Duber Bueller, Butler, Williams, Telfair, Tatnall, more Tatnall, and the Mon, Mon, Mongin, Mongin. Interesting. Oh, look, more things. Put your money up there. Interesting.
Well, this is technically not part of the tour, but I thought it was uh, noteworthy. I mean, for one, because it's got a couple of Christmas trees. That's neat and festive. But also, uh, up church there in the back, there's a piano on the headstone. That's, that's pretty neat. And as you're walking through here, do be careful because there are cars that are driving through here on their, uh, you know, driving tour as well. Hmm, man, look at that. The fence there is all kind of, you know, contorted from the ground moving and whatnot. It may have been like an old tree or something that was back behind there because sometimes these beautiful giant, like, oak trees or whatever, the roots get real crazy and they don't grow, go real deep. So they go like kind of out and sometimes it messes up like sidewalks and really like anything that's around it if it's there for long enough. And that's probably what happened here. Right behind it there you can see, uh, maybe you can see where they had that stump behind it. So there was a tree there. So that's what kind of screwed up all these walls and fences and whatnot. Yeah, you can see here, this one is kind of doing the same thing. This tree's still here. But you can see how the, the roots go and kind of do their thing. Spread out and really mess up the landscape here. Whoa, look at that. That's neat. All right, well, this one's pretty sad here. This is, this is Gracie Watson. Beautiful, ornate. This whole thing is really beautiful, the way they have the... Uh, the bushes going down and around it but it's this little Gracie Watson her father was like a one of the managers of like a fancy hotel here and uh, his his daughter Gracie there was was favorite by many of the guests two days before Easter in 1889 she died of pneumonia at the age of six 1890, the rising sculptor John Walls moved to Savannah. He carved from a photograph this life-size, delicately detailed marble statue which for almost a century has captured the interest of all passers-by. I mean, look at it. Wow. So that is a life-size carving of little Gracie Watson. And it is, I don't even know if you can tell from, from here. I, I can't zoom in anymore, but it is very ornate. I mean, it's like she's just sitting there looking at us now. It's kind of neat, like some of these over here have a, a nice view of the river. And kind of watch the cars going over the bridge, probably the boats go by. It's kind of neat. It's neat to look at these uh, headstones and see the dates and just kind of imagine like how long these things have been here, what these people's lives were like back in the day, but also looking at the names. I don't know why these names just sound really neat to me, but you got Cornelius Voorhees and Violet Villar. That's like word art right there. Cornelius Voorhees and Violet Villar. That's just nice. I like that. All these pretty flowers. You got ones gonna bloom here soon. Some already blooming. Oh, it's starting to rain a little bit. Now we got this Lawton plot. It is raining, uh, but that one definitely looks um, ornate. This Lawton family. I don't know anything about this Lawton family. But it looks like it's been here a while. It's maybe one of those uh, families that, oh, definitely, they're well off. Um, it's pretty fancy stuff there. And they're right on the water, too, so they got a great view on the river.
Well, that was a lot of fun. The rain kind of jumped in and uh, kind of pushed us along a little bit. But in any case, like that was actually really neat. The Bonaventure Cemetery in Savannah, Georgia. It's uh, beautiful grounds. Uh, it's massive. So if you plan on going here, you definitely want to block off a good bit of time. So that way you're not like, you know, rushing yourself or you know, biting off more than you can chew, that type of thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We really enjoyed walking around and showing you a little bit of what we, you know, saw. And if you did like it, uh, maybe subscribe. You'll see some stuff. This channel is all over the place. So you'll see a little bit of a, a lot, a little bit of everything. I'm gonna make a playlist for Savannah in general. Maybe give it a like, share. If you wanna send this to somebody who may be planning a trip to Savannah or is wondering like what there is to do in Savannah, if that's a place they wanna go to. This is one of the things that I think you definitely need to go do. In any case, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.